so welcome back everyone today we are going to uh, continue with our make aquarium campaign campaign today we are going to do mirror take your take charge of mirror aquarium where the only size that fit is large okay sure first of all let me up the sound a bit it's a bit too quiet for my liking Okay, uh, welcome to Mira. The new owner of Mira Aquarium have decided that its collection of smaller animals just won't cut it anymore. In fact, they have charged you with an ambitious go goal. Obtain and house a collection of five or inspiring sharks. It doesn't stop there. So convinced that size is all that matters, they have forbidden you to purchase anything they deem too small. Even small tank and filter are off the menu. On the plus side, it's time you obtain a new shark, they will reward you with a bunch of cash and animals. So they should be your priority. Are you ready to think big? Let's get to it. Okay. So let's see what we need. We need a pledge, a pledge shark. Okay, we have that. Uhas, right here. Leopard shark. Uh, Taslet Wobbegong shark. Starly smooth hound. Okay, uh, first of all, a shark as always. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of small tunnel type. Uh, so what do we have here? Uh. First of all, that needs a rock. Now what do we have? Uh, I remember one of these tank is empty, but have like... Oh, there it is. Just some coral. And that just won't cut it, I'm afraid. So we need a animal in there. Um, um, is this the best, I guess? Coral group? Sure, why not? We just need a case fix. That's gonna need a oh, where's the brief food case. So first of all I have a plan so the planning that I'm thinking is thus uh, we're gonna make a back room right here. That's gonna connect our tank together with pumps, like back here. And we're gonna mix all the fish into a big tank. You might ask why we're gonna do that. Because from my experience playing this stage, the best way to actually play it is to make a extremely big tank and make a you know a maintenance room back here. It's the easiest to manage compared to you know. Having all these smaller tank outside because we only have like large stuff, so might as well make a big tank just for them. So I'm thinking when we reach ten thousand, we're gonna start making the new tank. Oh, and yeah, let's see what do we have for our fish as well. We have a porcupine puffer with some brittle star. We have ballad anthias, uh, fossy dwarf line fish, some striped box fish, and a coral beauty. We have a oblique line dotty bag. We have what here? Uh, we have coral grouper which I just add and some coral. We have another coral beauty. This time just alone. And we have another coral beauty, but this time with a bunch of schooling benefit. We have an Arabian butterfly fish. And we have some clownfish with some anemone. That is not a bad set up, not bad at all, but why so many coral beauty, may I ask? 
we have reached our goal, so now we shall expand back here. Uh, this should be just fine. Make a wall. So I'm thinking of should we make a wall tank or make a Balfest tank? I'm thinking of wall tank for some of the fish, but for other we shall go with the Melfast option. So first of all we need to sell some of these. Not the wall tank. That's gonna be perfect fit. Now what are we gonna put in here? Uh, that's valid and they have problem with light. That's gonna be a no, which is a good thing, because we're gonna make this a coral tank. So let's move all the coral to here. Coral grouper can just stay in there for now. Uh, does this eat soft coral? This eats stony, and this eats stony, so they should be able to stay in here just fine. Now this will be the first tank we're gonna sell because we don't have anything important in them. Next one, uh, Fossy Dwarf. That I will leave that for later. Bellet Antheus! Bellet Antheus. Then there. We can sell this tank. Mm. Uh, this can also go in there. It doesn't have a problem. Let's eat Crustacean. We don't have any of them. So we can put it in there. Uh, Brittle Star? Any? No. Oh, it's Marbler Sen Serpent. I have some reason thought they were brittle stuff. I mean, they look kind of close. These eat soft coral, so we can't have them in there, I'm afraid. Uh, there's these. Oh, uh, that's Coral Beauty. I don't know why. Why are there so many Coral Beauty, though? That's just weird, man. Just really, really weird. We should have no problem having them in here, because nothing eats anemone. So that should just do this fine, and clownfish, you shall move in here. Uh, so that tank as well, oh, this one. Now the biggest problem is these two, because this one can't be housed with another one of them. And this one is a goddamn bully, which I don't know what to do, because they are size... It is size 3. And the coral grouper will eat it, and also this guy will also eat it. Oh, this guy doesn't though. Ooh. Ooh now that is interesting. Hmm. I think for now that's gonna work, right? Oh, I forgot that. I just forgot that it can't be housed with uh, a species or a genus. What are we gonna do about these? Right, am I supposed to make small tanks for them? It is necessary. Is it real? I'll put them in there. Oh, now we need to so sell that. These as well because we're not gonna need Coral Grouper. Uh, Coral Beauty again. I don't know what to do with it. And these, I, I think I know what to do. Uh, first of all, we need a large tank, a full size uh, wall tank. There we go. Uh, sell some wall. Da -da. So I'm gonna sell most of these stuff so we don't need to care about them. We can um, remake all these if it is all the same. I think I know what to do with the oblique line, to be fair. Uh, we could just make a tank, uh, which could just uh, move uh, the Arabian in there with them. Them. 
sell that. So, uh, sell that. Now we have a load of money. Uh, we need heaters for the important, important stuff. Now we need good fortune uh, gunner. We can have two filters. Sure, why not? Now we can have also a filter and a large protein skimmer. Now it's time to move these fish. What size are they? Are they five? Alright. They are five. Now these things we eat up to five. Oh these one have to go in here. Now, this is a load of problem, isn't it? Yeah, everything can go in there, so that's uh the fossil drop has stay on the own. Uh, the coral beauty though. Um, afraid I have to let you go. Because some um, don't think you know, definitely not a one. That could stay as a nice little That could be Yeah, yeah, we can make a story of you know, rescuing fish. Well, now that does seem spicy, isn't it? So I'm thinking of we we make those fish into like you know a zone that like for nursery or like you know treatment treatment tank. Yeah, yeah, treatment tank. So we're gonna need some of these. Put some well wet on. Oh, some of these turbine weeds. Uh, do we need more plants? Yeah, we do. Some kelp. That'd be nice. And you see lettuce. Just all good looking. And some eel grass. Why not? Next is the dwarf lime fish. Uh, let's add some sea grass. No, no. Eel grass. That'd be nice. And we put some kelp. And rock. some decoration there actually. In this one we'll add a net and a fat circle root first. And inside and the other will be sea lettuce with a small rock. Now for these tank we will go with the coral grouper, some of the unicorn fish. Uh, these eat sides. Five, so we can have some of these as well. Now we just have to wait for them to grow. These will eat starfish of size four. What are they? Size three. We need one more days before before we can actually put the longhorn cowfish in. Well, that's uh, hmm, the fussy dwarf lionfish. They do not grow. On so we can put a wally town in there, and now we just need food. Oh, we have forgot to put some stuff in here. Uh, a lucky overhang, some sea grapes. 
And a little bit of kelp. And some seeds. And a decoration barrel. A compass. And a cannon. These one will go with an anchor. A pirate chest. And a ship. Now we need decoration for our sides. So we can get some padded finish. Section and we got quite some benches for our, you know, guests to actually sit down. Now we're gonna put some vending machine down for our guests as well. Some glass and some coffee. We need some bin as well. Now I'm gonna put a toilet in the corner. And we and add some decoration. We're gonna add a palm tree on one side. And we're gonna add an ancient gate on the other. Now that does look like a nice acquirement, doesn't it? Now we just need food. And food is the easiest by far so actually do orange colour, we need green, we need Save it to I don't know what happened. Some muscles, some cockle, then we? we need cockle, right? Uh, that's a no, actually, we don't need them. Uh, we need sponge. We need uh, anything else? We need soup plankton. And that should be about it for the aquarium remake. Now we're gonna paint a little bit. Uh, Pirate Cove. Might as well. Yeah, that's that's look nice. It's a nice little s stony walking path. There we go. Now we got a nice little aquarium set up. Now we can let the game run, and we will unlock uh, Epilet Shark in a little bit of time. In a snap of finger, and we will get back to it. Me, by the way. There we go, we got Epilet Shark. Next, we're gonna get some Bullhus. So, Epilet Shark, where are you going? Uh, I think in here. Excellent work on adding the Epilet Shark. Uh, here's your reward a bunch of, you know, side check. That is a pain in the, you know, a pain to actually house. Yeah, but I'm thinking of making a tank just right here. Could that work? I don't know. Making an extension. Now we need walls to cut these so it doesn't look too awkward. I'm oh, sorry for the nice blowing. <laughs> How much space do they need? Oh, I remember them being a pain zone. 162. Before anything, 162. Boy. Oh, these will have to do them. They'll first tank. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Uh, there's a little problem. So I'm back, um, okay, so let's continue with building the tank for our horse arch. 162. This is gonna work. Um, okay, that's just easier than what I expected, but okay, it's good. Good thing that I don't have to be too much stressed to deal with this. So now we can. So I like this design the most, where you just like can go and watch the back of the tank. 
But the problem is that it doesn't look too uh, pleasing to the eye. Now we can connect it up with our main tank. Uh, we need more heat. Heating! Is that enough? Yes, indeed, it is enough. Now we shall move uh, the Apostle Hijack over here. And the other two as well. There we go. Are uh, we finished? Our horse hijack tank. Uh, hopefully, we don't have to deal with it in the future. Before anything, uh, what does it eat? Size 10. These are size 8. It takes 5 days. It's 3 days to actually grow. I'll, I'll shop out 2 of them there. As a balance to the tank, because the horse hijack is like one of those. You know, active swimmers, so having some that some you know slower fish will help to balance out the tank and we need some barrel. Because we love barrel and we know it's doing to do uh oh, no I'm not getting the right crane or right, I'm not gonna take risk. I do not have I do not know anything about it, so I'm not taking the risk. Uh, we need large protein skimmer and a large filter. Cool, cool, cool. Now we need send you any supplement, which I don't think we are gonna a lot. We are actually gonna be able to buy today. Yes, we can't. But we gonna buy it today, right? Please, please just tell me we can buy it today. I don't want my shark dying on me. Yeah, I can. Alright, alright. Uh, well then. We shall go on. Mm, what should we do next? Oh. We actually need cockle. And for some reason I... Why didn't it pop that when I actually checked if it need cockle? Why? It is like, oh yeah, we're gonna make him rage. Let's see it, so his fish will nearly die. Because of not getting fed. Sure, that's funny. Am I right, chat? We just need to unlock more stuff. Oh, leopard shark is right there. Does that mean we're gonna get the other two at rank 9? Am I correct? I don't know because it, I only see leopard shark here and not the other two. So I'm gonna assume that we will be able to get it uh, at rank 9. Hopefully. Oh, what does it eat now? Size 7. So this should be fine. Yeah, that they will be fine. Mm-hmm. For anything else. For literally anything else. I'm gonna add another protein skimmer. Now this just look really nice. This also might be a little tight. It's just I only have a core is here, but I love it. Sometimes I just love these like big tank for small fish because it's feel a little bit it's feel not crowded and understock and it just feel really good to actually like have a specific fish for each tank. But that will come very rarely because the fish itself have to be colourful, like coral beauty is a nice colourful fish already, so it, already have the potential. Uh, now we have a lot of Ibuhas. Let's have some stuff. We need feeding, some fixing. How many fixing do we have? We have four already. We have four box, so that should be fine. Get enough feeding because I know that it's going to be a big problem in the future. We need some cleaning as well. Uh, let's go with this. Dante, sure. Do we have Toki? We indeed have, if we need talking by any chance, but for now we don't need it. Now we need a Bullhuss tank for our cold water stuff. 
Now we will show you the bits. Oh, what does it eat? Crustacean. Now that is going to be easy because if it is eat crustacean, we don't need to, you know, eat them entirely. Okay. We don't need to be scared of it. No, actually. Oh, he's cleaning. I thought for a second what? We have a sponge sink. What do you want from me? We can make another tank right here, actually. A, like, a warm water, I guess. Now let's do some cold water tank. Uh, 11 tile. There we go. That's gonna doobly doobly do. Dip dip do. Anyone? No? Oh, well, there we go. I guess so. For... I'm a bit confused. Bex con this confusing time. Now what I need is a fish tank, a buffer tank by any chance. Oh that is not me. Need two thousand two thousand going for a fish tank. Seem a bit re unreasonable, but then again, it's a big, big tank, so it's where it will be very, very expensive. But it's the best tank. I might have one, I might have two, but it's the best tank we can find. Uh, there we go, we actually got it. Got it! Get in, boys! Oh, we need a stop door. Why does it look like that? Please tell me. Why? Exactly. That should do it. Now, our boo -hus. Yeah. How are we gonna do this one? First of all, we need pump. Pumping. Because it's a cold water. And we do not have any cold water just yet. So pumping will have to do. Or is it? Now we're gonna extend a little bit. Keep that should be nice. Uh, yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, we need pump. Basic pump. Shot two. For now. Now we just need a bit more money before we can actually do it. How much does a bull has cost? 698. What if? What if? What if? Alright. What if they give us money when we actually put the bull has in? Then we can use that money to buy the future. Sure, let's go. We get money. Nice. Excellent work on adding the bull has. Here's your reward a lobster. Ooh, alright, uh, we're gonna get one of them. And now let's go, love. Let's go. Now we need some cave. What uh, about Rocky Overhang? Some of the turbine weeds. Let's try it. Turbine weeds and some coal water. To make shit. Calm down, guys. It's just water. We need that. And we need that. Now some more cold water stuff. Uh, what do we have? What does this eat? It eats size 6 of crustacean. So anything in here would be fine. Yeah, thick crustacean under the size of 6. Uh, banana Sure, we can have some of that grass. Actually, Potter's crab wouldn't be a too bad of a shout. We could actually house them. But I think I'm not gonna touch that just yet. Um, quarter. Do you have anything more? We're gonna add Pollock's later. Okay. Mark my word. 
Pollock's gonna come in a bit. But until our, uh, you know, starfish grow, we kinda can't use them. Just since it. You know. You know. Now we have some salt and stingrays. Might as well make a tank for them. But we will have to wait in a bit. But before that, let read some and fact that I have got to read again because I'm um, extremely forgetful. No, not this one. Uh, bull huts. Bull huts are known for their lazy low lowering on the sand. Their favorite food is crab, and they have a special technique for eating hermit. Shaking the shell so vigorously that the crab loses grip and slides out. Okay. It's a bit scary, but okay. Ah, now, uh, that's how uh, starfish grow. Yes, indeed. Now we can have a longhorn cow. For it's full. Cool. Oh. Okay, well, uh, we're not gonna have it then, sure, fine. We can have it in here. Nothing. But if you close your eyes, no, I'm not gonna play that me. Uh, hmm. Now we just need filtration, even more. Now this tank is looking kind of big. No, 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 no. Let's wait for a little bit for something to happen. Now we need a load of money to actually get a new tank. So yeah, we can't really you know, skip it. The bull has is looking fine. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, yeah. I love the common cocktail fish. Now we have the Hosei Jack, uh, which we don't really care in the world about. Now we can have one of these bad boys. It will eat size 5. What is the starfish size? Uh, it's gonna be 7. Any 5 is in here? Indeed, we have Kakura. So it can wait for one more day. Now I'm thinking of making a Sultan Stingray tank, but like, um, 120. Deep Observer tank do that. Well, will you do it then? Do it, do it that way. Now we just need to move it a bit, you know. Right there, or right there. I'm thinking more right there. Now we just need to add a stuff or a feeding platform. And we're gonna make a its own filtration system because I can't be bothered. Now, now we can house them. Am I right? That is a big boy already. Mm -hmm. I think a load of rocks would be a nice texture for this tank, actually. Because they normally stay on the bottom, so a load of rocks. Oh, uh, we can have some kelp. That does look nice, isn't it? A nice little salt and stingray tank. I'll do it. I'll grab it. Now, last but not least, uh, we're gonna raise our, uh, you know, prestige points a lot. And the easiest way to do that is always to make a podium. So we're gonna make a talking podium. Uh, and I think after that. Maybe the time is up. I'm not sure. I'll check it though. One and two. Now we just need a mic headset. Two. 
now we need another talking stuff. Uh, Emma we do, and then what are we gonna talk about? We gonna need a loads of prestige rank. Green Morio, sure. I don't mind. At 12. One day between and for this one. Um, it's gonna be Common Lobster Talk. Ooh. At 12 or and on one day between. Sure. So I'm thinking of yeah we can I'm thinking of changing this first before actually ending the episode. So yeah we don't have really much thing to do with this. So it's basically you have to get all these sharks and that is basically the end goal. Oh we have a lot of everything for fish cocky. Have the cockroach grow? That's gonna be a no. One more day. One more day, people. One more day. Now we can finally sell these and put a bigger, better one. Finally. There we go. And that's doing just fine. Or not. Hmm. Think of some of these first before we do anything. Are we gonna sh rearrange some stuff for better management, I guess? And then we can have all these big boys. Oh, uh, that should be not right. No! Still, that's a no. Jesus. This tank is system need a load of filtration. I think that should be enough because no fish gonna grow. Oh wait. Oh that's already grown. Uh, until we add fish to these I don't think we're gonna have problem with filtration. But yeah let's add a nuts one uh category there. So but yeah oh uh, I wanna end the video please come on now guys uh, large filter yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of another video. So yeah, we have quite we have done forty percent of the end goal that we have to do for mirrors. But that's gonna be it, it today. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for watching as always, and uh, if you enjoy this content or enjoy my you know channel and want to see more, then don't forget to click like and subscribe. And that will be it for me today, and see you in the next episode of Mega Parry. But until then, I'll have to say goodbye. So goodbye now.